All right. Okay. All right. We're going back into Geo. Um, all right. This is going to be the last video before we do a real project. You know, maybe I'll do something simple like a, a weather project or something like that. All right. I'm not going to write all this boilerplate code. This is what we did the la in the last video. This is the Hello World video. If you're if you're coming into this video without seeing the first one, you may not you you're not going to understand what's going on. So watch that first. Hello world video and geo and, and you know we'll take off where we left off right okay so let me do a go run dot right okay so we made hello world appear in the middle of the screen right in the last uh, in the last video or whatever right all right what we're gonna do it now is we're gonna make this we're gonna make this uh, layout this uh, hello world button clickable but I'll, I'll just run through real quick uh what's going on here you know for you guys that are hard-headed and don't want to watch the first video right so you're going to make the app window title and then the size of the window right and then we're going to call this draw function which uh which makes a, an endless loop and it looks for the event of frame event every frame it, frames are going to keep being drawn every you know as fast as your graphics card can do it right and then we're gonna put a, a flex layout in here and inside of these they, these should really just be called columns or whatever um, but you know you can you can do other things with them right um, in here like we have a spacer that's 250 uh, device independent pixels so it brings it down to basically the middle of the screen because the screen is uh, 400 by 600 right all right, and then we're going to uh, th then we have another rigid which makes another column going down, and you know we have a label here. It says "Hello World," and then we lay it out on the screen, right? Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to make this label clickable, right? And in order to make anything uh, clickable in here, you have to has a has a different way of doing things, right? So you got to put bar let's just call this label button label button and we'll make this uh, widget dot clickable okay now so when we come down here right so we'll put this label button and then we got to take the dot, was it layout? I think it is, right? No, no, it's not layout. Okay, so it's label button, dot layout. And then we have to put the context in here, which is just GTX. And then we're going to put LBL dot layout. Okay, so now basically with this it, it may it basically makes the area clickable for this label right here right and then whenever you want to get it, you whenever you want to uh because it's going to keep going through this loop or whatever right and this if uh label button dot clicked Okay, this is always this is gonna return false until on one side, you know, on one uh, you know, while it's going down the loop. Uh, once it's uh, once it's clicked, this is gonna return true, right? Which will trigger this function. So we'll just make this print out sign print print line, and we'll say the label was clicked. Okay. Let me stop this. All right. And bam, you can see the label is clicked. The label is clicked, so it's clickable now. So the pattern is you have to basically create a clickable area, right? And then get the context and then uh, put the, the put the layout of the widget inside of this clickable area and then listen for it inside a loop by checking if this is the, this clicked is is true or whatever right okay so we can we can make a button now right so 
Let's go on. I'm just going to copy and paste this code right here, right? Work smarter, not harder, right? So this will be button. We can change this to button. B U T T O N. And then we got to make the, we have to, it, it takes the theme. If you look here, right? Takes the theme, the clickable widget, and the string, the title of the. Um, so we'll just call it, we'll change this variable to BTN. 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 We don't have to, we don't have to make the layout clickable like this because we're going to add. So we'll say, okay, so var BTN click area and then we'll call that widget dot clickable okay so now we call that btn click area right all right so we'll take this off of here too and it will make this button that layout right here, BTN. All right, and basically we we'll do the same thing, right? So we come down here and put if what was it called? Button click, button click area. That clicked, same deal. Mm -hmm. Then we'll put FMT print line. button was clicked all right all right so we'll run that and you'll see bam button was clicked button was clicked button was clicked okay so we know how to use the event all right so here right now I want to I want to show you um, how you can put two things on you know uh, put Put things on uh, in a in a row, because that that's important too, right there, right? And I don't want you guys to be lost in the sauce with that one, right? All right, so we're gonna just cut this out right here, right? And then we're just gonna we're gonna make a variable up here. We're gonna call this BTN. Uh, we'll call this BTNs, and you'll see why in a second. So we're gonna take that. Let me see if it'll format it a little better for me. I'm gonna take this layout dot rigid. All right, we're gonna take this layout dot rigid, and it's gonna make that button right there, right? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put uh, we're gonna put columns, okay? And we're, this is gonna be a layout dot flex. All right, oh, we got to use uh, curly brackets there, and then we're gonna put the axis axis is gonna be um, was it layout dot horizontal? Okay, and then we got uh, we got spacing, so it's gonna be uh, layout. Space between we can put space there's space evenly too space evenly space evenly okay so now what we do is when we come down here and put in all right so let's use our columns and then we'll put layout. And it's going to be, we're going to get the context. And that context is coming up from here, from the first uh, layout. And then basically we'll just list buttons. Buttons, buttons, buttons. Okay. We, I, I almost forgot. We have to put this inside of a, a layout.rigid uh, as well. We have to put this inside of a rigid. So, layout. 
dot rigid and then what the hell did I just do? Lay out that rigid, okay. All right, now we got to do it like we're used to it, and put uh, the function inside there. Funk GTX layout dot context. Okay, and it's going to return layout dot dimensions. Okay, and then we put in here allow buttons. Right, and then we'll put this on the end here. Put this on in here. All right, and then we should have it right here. All right, so you see now we have three buttons spaced evenly, right? So you can basically go up and down the page, lay out anything how it, you know, how you want to, and uh, just create another flex layout, you know, and put in another rigid. So you see the pattern, okay? Any questions? Leave them up at the bottom. Oh, why is it not working? So button that clickable area, click area. Okay, I think I have to put these in their own separate variables in order to make everything work. Okay, it was a little blooper. But I want to show you this so that you know when you guys do uh, so you guys know right, here we go so put button one and button two I think if you use the same variable it takes the same memory space so it won't show but let's see what happens here okay Yep, yep, yep. You had to put it in. You have to put them in their own variables because it'll, you know, the ref. It'll make the same reference, and I guess it'll confuse the areas, right? All right. So that concludes this video. So we had uh, the next video. We'll, we'll actually build the project, but I wanted to get through this so you guys could, uh, you know, you guys will understand what's going on. Okay. Thank you for your time and attention.